Hi, this is Mark Adams, and I am thrilled to offer you this wonderful presentation, Play to Your Strengths, Real Championship Coaching. As a former college basketball coach for 17 years, one area where I took a lot of pride in myself was in the area of scouting. And for just a few minutes, I'd like to scout you. So as part of my scouting report, I would ask you to react to the one statement out of the three that best describes your coaching philosophy. The first statement, coaches should primarily help you to work on and improve on your weaknesses. Or is your coaching philosophy more like, coaches should primarily help you to work on and improve on your strengths? Or could your coaching philosophy best be described as, coaches should help you to maintain your strengths while improving on your weaknesses. After being a real championship college basketball coach and doing it for 17 years, I believe the coaches should primarily help you to work on and improve on your strengths. We will explore exactly how you do that, how you implement those strategies with your team, how you identify those strengths, and then how you put the right people in the right place at the right time based upon those strengths. As we work together to play to our strengths, and as we become real championship coaches, there will be five big questions that we will answer together throughout this presentation. The first question, are we just managers or are we real coaches? Because there is a difference. The second question, how can I better define my talents and use them to lead? I will help you to define those talents based on Gallup research and these talents will certainly help you to lead your team in a championship way. The third question, what qualities are your team members looking for in a real coach? What qualities do you possess and how can you leverage those qualities to help your team to be championship caliber? The fourth question, how do I set the right example as a real coach? Often when I talk about coaching, the first thing that people think about is their boss. This is not about your boss. This is about you. This is about first coaching yourself, first holding yourself accountable, because how can you possibly evaluate anyone else or hold anyone else accountable until you first take responsibility for your own actions as a real coach? And the last question, how can I evaluate myself and my team? I will give you tried and true strategies and tools to evaluate yourself on a daily basis, as well as evaluate your team members and hold them accountable. I invite you to contact me today so that we can work together to allow you and your team to play to your strengths and allow you to become a real championship coach. I look forward to hearing from you because I want to coach you and I want to coach your team. And I can't wait to be a part of your team as we play to our strengths together.